we're gonna start um, using Adobe Illustrator and move to Adobe Express to kind of animate this little ghostly design that we're gonna create. Mm. So here I'm gonna turn on one of my layers. You can see that I have a sketch. Ooh. These are the colors that I'm working with today. If I were vectorizing this, these are my basic shapes. I can play with the shapes and then I can add texture. So I'm gonna turn the vector off because I wanna draw this with my friend the pen tool. Do command X to cut it. I'm gonna go to the layer where my vectors are, unlock it, and I'm gonna do command shift V, the color that I want. Just hit command X, select the layer underneath the object that you want to put things inside of, and then go here, draw inside. Hit command shift V to paste in place, and now it's inside. And then just do a double click and you exit the draw inside mode. Mm -hmm. And let's say I wanna do the same thing here. Select all the objects that make, you know, the border. Mm -hmm. The first one is a star and then I hold shift and I can select all the other ones. And then I'm gonna do command C, command shift V, unify the shape with Pathfinder. Uh, and then I just add a stroke. All the corners are round. Um, and then I align stroke to the outside. Swatches, um, I can change it to a color that's more contrasted. I think the green's gonna work perfect with this. Go and arrange, send it to back. Ah. And it's there, you know, it's really cool. So I'm gonna select all the strokes and I'm gonna go here and change um, the mode to something that kind of mimics a traditional pencil. Okay, so I can change the shapes here. I'm gonna do it like that. So if I go under stroke, and you can kind of just play with it. Oh. Even that way, hey, that's kind of cool, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna select these shapes, hit shift, select all of them, mm -hmm. command C, command shift V to paste on top, go to gradient right here, and then I'm gonna change the angle to 90 degrees. Let's reverse it. So the bottom is black and the top is the color that we have. So now with everything selected, we're gonna go to effect, texture, green. So I'm gonna change from normal to overlay. Okay, so let's say that I apply this texture to all my elements. So you're gonna group everything that you want to be together as one object and then send it to Express. So mm -hmm. Instagram Reels is already here, so I just click. I'm just hitting Command G to group, and then I'm gonna do <laughs> Command C to copy, C. and then Command V to paste. So this is the photo I chose. The first thing I wanna animate is this, the hand lettering. And you can do in animation, loop animation or out animation. Yeah. I think I like the <laughs> thumb bowl. And let's do a loop as well. Yes. Oh, this is perfect. That's this perfect. This is really yeah. cool. I think I want to animate the spider. Perfect. The bungee. Yeah, like drop in. And then let's do a loop. Also, let's see what Yo-Yo does. This is perfect. Boom. The flames, I wanted to have some transparency. You mm. can change that here in blend mode, get less opacity. So in animation, you can do a loop. Flicker will be great, yeah, and then you can adjust the... The star I was thinking of spinning. I kind of want my spider to come in a little bit later, so I'm gonna click on the spider and then make the spider come later. Yeah, so it's coming a little I'm bit later. adding my own sound effect. <laughs> This is pretty cool. So thanks for being here, guys. All right, bye-bye. Hi!